What is up YouTube? I am Brandon. You are back in the Gillstrap Garage. Aubrey's gonna help me do some work on a motorcycle today. Yeah. The garage is a little occupied with everything. So we're gonna work outside. I'm just gonna get some oil draining real quick. Uh, drain all the oil. We're gonna be installing an easy pull clutch lever because my wife has a really hard time pulling this clutch in. So, and then uh, Another thing too, I've got some stuff I want to check out in the cam chest. The main focus is the easy pull. I want to check the cam chain tensioners and we need to get some fresh oil because we want to go for a ride this Sunday to Des Moines. So, let's drain some oil. Where's Des Moines? Iowa, like the middle of Iowa. It's like unnecessarily tight. So for the parts that we're installing, the transmission and the engine, or no, wrong. Transmission and primary side absolutely have to be drained. Yeah, I don't like working on bikes that have coolant. I mean, it's not a Harley, it's not a cool Harley anyway. Oh, this, this exhaust bracket has broke before and been welded, see that? I think they did a decent job welding it. So, yeah, not not great, but it's it's holding. That's what matters. Be a, be a good reason to buy a cooler exhaust later, anyway. Mom will be like, "What's wrong with the one that was on there?" I'll be like, "It was cracked." I had to get a new one. I couldn't get an eighty dollar bracket. I had to get a seven hundred dollar exhaust. I think I can do this without a pulling the exhaust, even for the cam, even for checking the cam tensioners. I, th I think this exhaust is out of the way enough. That'd be cool. I have new exhaust gaskets for it though, because eventually I'm gonna take it, tear into the top end, do breathers and stuff in the head. I've got some primary leaks on the other side that they're all gonna get fixed when we install this thing. I'm gonna stand it up and make sure it's draining all the way. Oh, thanks. A lot more. A lot more. Not that much, but a whole Like a whole, like it was a whole group, but just Put some drain plugs back in or what? Me? No, while uh, it's hot, but I'm saying should we? I'm not even, I'm not even going to change these O-rings. We're going to, I'm not much of a gambling man, but these ones are still good. Now, with all the oil out, um, before we pull this off, we're going to loosen the clutch adjustment. Do you remember how to do that? Okay. We're just going to loosen the clutch cable. It's right there. Oh. We just got to loosen that up. I think we need a half inch and a 916. Alright, Abs. Where you at? Right here. So you put this on the bottom one, put that on top, loosen it. Run that up. Twist that all the way in. And now you can see our clutch cable is not adjusted, right? Oh, yeah. You remember me showing you how tight that was before, right? When I was first talking about it yeah. in the intro? All right. If that guy could quit mowing any time now, that'd be great. Yeah. Yep, can't win them all. I'm pulling the exhaust. Popsicle break. Oh. 
What's she yelling about? I mean, because I'm not saying you watch a movie. I watch the chores on there. You okay? You okay? She's alright. If she's coughing, she's okay. Where'd you go? I'll Oh my god. You just swallowed all that gum? <laughs> Can't do that. <laughs> I'm in my mouth. Okay. I'm gonna spit it out. Spit your gum out. The soft pull clutch ramp fits 98 and up big twin. So this is what we're gonna be changing on this side. The clutch ramp. I always call it a throw out bearing. I don't know if that's the correct term. We'll compare the old one to the new one once I get it out. And to do that, we just need some snap ring pliers. These snap ring pliers are worn out. Yep, sure I am. Oh. Grandma watches all your videos. Grandma watches all mine? I know. She watches them more than mom does. Okay, there's a snap ring. Pull this out. There's these three balls in here. You're probably gonna lose them if you're not careful. So you can see how much wider those grooves are on this one. Give it a little bit smoother engagement. Obviously, you want to see what I'm talking about? Yeah. So this is the new one. You see how wide these are? See how narrow that is right there? So the way this sits in here, this locks in. You know, what? I'll set the new one in because it's going to be going in anyway. Set the new one. Get our three new ball bearings. One, two, three, and this new piece here that just hooks in. So. This here is your clutch cable. This cable moves when you pull the lever up there, in and out. Okay, so this sits on here, this sits in here. This is the idle position. This is just when you're just going down the road. Mm -hmm. When you pull your clutch in, this cable sucks in, and this ramp, see how it slides up? Yeah. yeah. So that slides up. It pushes on this whole thing right here. This assembly, there's a rod that goes all the way through the transmission into the clutch side and then it spaces out the clutch discs so it's not making contact anymore. And it disengages the clutch. And the other one was smaller? So, so, this, so this one, the grooves are smaller so it's it pulls a lot harder with a smoother or with them longer, it just comes out a little bit smoother. It won't take as much effort. And then this is the clutch spring here that we're gonna put in on the other side. This spring is not as stiff as the spring that's in there. And it'll make it easier for it to pull. And it yep, just makes it, all it is, it makes it easier for it to pull. But the downside of it, which it doesn't matter for this bike, you will lose, your, your clutch won't be able to hold as much power with the softer spring in it. Or put your opening in this long groove right here. Pretty straightforward.
All right, now we're gonna go finish the primary side before I open the engine up and check that because we'll stay on this topic here. Oh, I've got another piece I can add to this too. Huh. This bike's got like something like 42 or 43,000 miles on it. So it had to have been pretty well maintained. My Dyna, um, 30, I think like 32,000 when I sold it. But this bike's a 2005, mine was a 2017. So this bike in all those years and way more years has relatively less time ridden on it. Because of the angle, all these things want to fall right now. <coughs> Callie, it's okay. Remember you said you're not scared anymore? Yeah. It's not the right hardware for this, but I'm going to get it started. Okay, I gotta get my torque wrench and finish running these down. We'll be back. Okay, well, as I was getting my torque wrench out and starting to get everything set up, it started raining pretty good. Um, let's see if I can pan the camera over. Kind of see out there. Started coming down. So, we're in the garage, cramped, still on the floor. Like I said, I could have waited to do this until I got the bike off of the lift, but why wait? Um, so we're going to throw our cover back on right now. Uh, i got to make sure I have new O-rings and stuff for this, which I think are sitting right here behind me. Just down the street. Like. You should have ordered the Casey's and got me a drink. 
how, turn the new Mountain Dew. How would you like me to carry that bag? In a bottle in a bag? Oh, in a bottle. Oh, okay. I thought you wanted like a fountain drink. You're oh. like you're like a fountain drink person. I am, but only it's only root beer. Like I'm not a very I don't like I don't really like drinks. Like yeah. I don't go out of my way to get sodas and stuff, you know. But yeah. If I want a root a root beer, or if I do want a soda, I'm getting a root beer, and it's gonna be a fountain drink. Oh, I did when I when I stopped at work the other day to get gas. Uh -huh. I grabbed a protein bar and a and a Topo Chico. Oh, there's like I haven't gotten those in a while. Yeah, those they're so good. They're so bubbly. Mm -hmm. There's there's nothing better than those things. See, they're but sometimes they're at Aldi, and I'll buy them. And I haven't seen them at this Aldi. Yeah, they probably just don't carry them here. My guys buy them at the other Aldi. But those things are like really hit and miss in a lot of places. Yeah, like sometimes I find them in, sometimes I see a whole display of them at Walmart, and other times I don't. But like that one day when I went looking for them, I couldn't find them. Yeah. They sure are delicious, though. They probably don't sell them out here. No oh, why? Those white, those white people don't want Topo Chico, they want Mountain Dew. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, wait, a drink that doesn't rot your teeth out of your skull? No, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't, I don't get the Mountain Dew hype. I mean, I'm with it. I mean, I'll roll with it. No, it, it's cool. Like, I'm not knocking it. But it's just funny because, like, I was really thinking about it. The only person, the only person that I ever knew that would, like, if there was a variety of sodas to pick, and it would be like, oh, I'll take a Mountain Dew. The only person I ever knew that did that was Josh. He liked Mountain Dew like that? Yeah, he liked Mountain Dew like that. Like, like he'll the, go out and buy like, like a 12 pack of Mountain Dew? Um, they, they were the kind of family that just, they always had like two liters of soda and oh, stuff. Oh, he's a two liter and, guy? Ew, and, who's a two liter? and that was the only person I ever knew that was like that yeah, until, see? until I came here. Like, there's people, like, people go up to the vending machine we have at work and they'll be like, hey, hey, I'm buying sodas. Like, do you guys want anything? I'm not a soda drinker, so I'm like, no, I'm good. Like, can you put some sparkling bubblies in there? Yeah, please? but most people are like, Mountain Dew, I'll take a Mountain Dew, I'll take a Mountain Dew. Like, weird. There's a little, there's a little, uh, in the schoolers' classroom, like, you know, the older kids, like Aubrey's age and yeah. like, a little younger. There's a kid in there. He looked like a lot like you as a kid. Like, he has some spiky blonde tips, like some little white kid. And, uh, you know, he had blue eyes, blonde hair, whatever. I was like, oh, look at little Brandon. But he was sitting there. He walked in with a Mountain Dew. It's seven in the morning. Mountain Dew and a Casey's Pizza. Like, oh my God. You're like, that yeah. That boy put the mood in Midwest. <laughs> oh, yeah. And he's wearing like a like some kind of Monster Jam tank top. Like, I feel like I could be friends with that kid. <laughs> He'd probably sit here and listen to you talk about the ramble about this. All day. That's, I'm with it. Too bad you don't have a little neighbor kid like that. Yeah. That kid would never leave. And then maybe that kid will get your your, your own kids into, into your stuff and they'd be all jealous that you're hanging out with somebody else. Yeah. Yeah, my kid, my kids would be like, Dad never does anything with us when I'm always inviting them out to like do what I'm doing. Yeah. And then I hang out with another kid and they're like, Why does that kid do stuff with Dad? You're like, is this kid's dad's a He's like, I don't want a dad. <laughs> like, me neither, boy, come on. <laughs> You're gonna have a boy. Did we just become best friends? <laughs> Aubrey starts off strong with me out here. Yeah, she gets really bored real fast. Though. Real fast. She's always eager to start something, and then after like five minutes, like. Mm. Yeah, she gets that from her mom. I mean, I like to do stuff to finish it, start to finish. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Did you see that strawberry cheesecake? I mean. Yeah, they look bomb. They smell really good. You didn't try it? No. Why? I don't want them to see it. Slice taken out of it. Huh? I don't want them to see it. Cause I wasn't. Gonna, I was. I didn't serve it. It was for PM snacks. So I just made it and left it in the fridge. Oh. I, I didn't want them to see like a chunk taken out of it. <laughs> and I don't know if I made it right.
bread or not because I never, it was like, it's called pre strawberry pretzel salad. And I was like, what the f is this? And as I'm making it, where are you going? As I'm making it, it's like, huh? As I'm making it, like, it's like cheesecake. Like, I make, well, I didn't have a roller, so I couldn't chop the pretzels. Or you had to like, like uh, make the pretzels into like crumbs and like with a roller. Uh -huh. I didn't have that, so I had like, like punch the pretzels over and over again, but they were the pretzel sticks. So they poke through the bag and stab me in the hand. And I'm like, God, I'm not doing it. So I made it with like the whole pretzel. Well, I chopped most of them in half. But I used that as like a base. And then added cream cheese and whipped cream in the middle. With a lot of, a lot of sugar in it. And then strawberries on top. So, PM, how late do those kids stay? They're open till 6 PM. Oh, sh Some kids don't get there till like, noon. No way, really? Yeah. The kids come, like, all throughout the day and it really f***s my account. So I'll make lunches and have everything already set up. And then, they'll be like, two, two more kids came to the class. And see, all these little teachers have the tablets or whatever that they keep, they, like, communicate with each other. They like take roll on, they know how many kids are in the class, or how many kids are showing up that day. I don't have shit. Like, I feel like I should have that. So well, I know how many kids are in the class. Request to one. Like... Have you asked for one? No. You should. But I just feel like I should have I'm, that so I could see how many kids show up and who's there. So I can see the little free kids there, or the Muslim kids there, or like whatever the is. Yeah, I, I bet they'd have no problem giving that to you. I bet the, the gluten-free kid's got a real white name. It's Noah. Oh yeah, see, I knew it. <laughs> Would you like to eat this? No, uh, I can't have gluten. Come on, that's funny. Hopefully it's just like a, they don't want him that gluten kind of thing. Yeah, not like it actually Not like an actual, like, sickness. It's like a preference. It's like there's a kid in there who, the mom, they're a vegetarian because uh, they don't want the kid to eat meat. Well, guess what? I'm like, just pack your own lunch. Like, like we can serve here one thing. But they don't have any gluten-free options for that kid. Like, I feel like they should have more for him. I'm, like, struggling to come up with snacks to, for that kid's class. Like, like they have a gluten-free tortillas, gluten-free bread, and chicken nuggets. Like, no snacks whatsoever. Like, no gluten-free chips or, like, some kind of alternative. Because they're always eating. There's always a snack. And it's something like that. Goldfish, Chex Mix, crackers. That and I'm like, there should be like, and I went, oh, do, I, do I get that kid cheese? I get that kid a piece of cheese. Like, I should go to a shop at Aldi and grab some. Aldi has all kinds of gluten free shit. That pizza we just said was gluten free, right? Yeah. That's, and that's, that is like the best frozen pizza I've ever had. They had pizza today. And I know that kid ate was four freezer burnt chicken nuggets. Oh, poor kid. Chicken nuggets? Nug what? Chicken nuggets or gluten? Gluten free chicken nuggets. Oh. Uh -huh. They're all soggy and gross. They smell funny. I'm like, ew. Who eats Who would live like this? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh. I, I know a gal and I know a guy that knows a guy. <laughs> like, oh, Brandon used to live like this. <laughs> yeah, I did. The whole house is gluten free. Your mom so, wouldn't just make certain stuff for Tyler, you guys would all eat gluten free. We'd all have the gluten free stuff. My mom got really good at those recipes. Well, your mom's also a good cook. But, you know what me and Dylan wouldn't give up? What? Our Pop Tarts. <laughs> Did you guys And we, al we almost them? lost them for good because we convinced Ty to eat them one time. <laughs> <laughs> Josh remembers that vividly. My mom gave Josh all our Pop Tarts. She said she wasn't going to buy them for us anymore. Did you continue to buy them? Huh? Did you continue to Oh, buy yeah, we got them later. How long did she, like, go on strong? Honestly, I don't even remember, because I forgot about that completely until Josh was like, yo, you remember when you gave Tyler Pop-Tarts and your mom took them all away from you and gave them to me? So she's like, here, Josh, here's all the Pop-Tarts. Oh, no, it, it wasn't like, oh, here, Josh. It was like, take these mother Pop-Tarts. And Josh is like, 
Josh is like, sure, I don't want to get beat. Hell yeah, I'm taking Pop Tarts. Yeah, no, sure, no problem. Oh, yeah. Dylan, get your okay. I, I don't remember. Dylan, don't remember? <laughs> I don't know. God, man. That, that's why I tell these kids, I hate that they fight the way they do, because, like, you can't ever take this back. So with this new piece in here, if you have a gasket like this style, you have to cut the middle out to clear it. That outfit looks really cute. That's like something I wear. This style actually looks like it would seat no, the O-ring in there. All right, so we're back. I uh, stopped filming yesterday because I about ripped my thumb off on the uh, drill press. So I dealt with that. I got the primary back together. I put my OG Moto shift peg on there. We got a new derby cover. Um, I'm gonna put a cross thread cycle brake arm on there when I have the right bolt for the brake arm. I just don't have that right now. So if that's all back together, the clutch I believe is adjusted. We'll be able to tell that when we ride it. Um, right now, we're just gonna open up the cam chest, make sure our tensioners are good to roll, and then throw it all back together, change the oil and filter. I debated on putting this on here, but I'm just gonna do it. I didn't want this thing to get messed up in case it gets dropped or something, but I'll take off that cellophane, of course, but it's a cross thread cycle brake arm, OG Moto brake pedal. This is meant for baggers, um, but I had a machinist machine all this down, weld a bracket on here. Uh, this is all aluminum. And then of course got it powder coated and it's gonna look super, super slick. I gotta throw that last bolt in there. Um, yeah, it's gonna be a really, really nice piece. But let's get that open, check our, our tensioner shoes, and then figure out what we gotta do next. A little bit more oil than I expected. I'm gonna grab my tool real quick. How rad. It's got a little bit of wear. But there's there's no way those are the original uh, the original tensioners. I wouldn't worry about those one bit. From what I can see on the back one, I'll probably, my knee's probably blocking that. From what I can see on the back one, that one's been replaced too. In case the camera didn't pick it up, I'll. So this tool works again. Surprise back like that. What a relief. That's nice. So we can at least run that until I can afford to throw like an SNS cam chest in there or something. There's one here, one on the back side. Do you remember when my fat boy broke when I was driving it home? How you need clothes Like off. right after Laughlin? Uh-huh. This is what this is what exploded on my fat boy. These little tensioners right oh, here. Oh really? Tyler Wilkins has exploded too. I've got a YouTube video on him. Uh, yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, these things. This is just a terrible design. These little plastic shoes, like they just wear out and they blow apart, and then this metal part digs into your chain. But here's a good. Somebody's replaced these because normally on a Harley, on like between thirty and thirty-five thousand miles, these things just explode. Really? Yeah. Come on, babe. I need that. I'm gonna make another one. Need clothes on though. So I fired the bike up and I could hear something on the primary side making a noise that it shouldn't be making. So I opened it up to see what was happening and what you're about to see is me progressing on grinding this thing down, not the damage that was done. But that, um, that variable pressure plate was hitting up on the lip. So this derby cover that we bought has the O-ring style lip inside so you can run the rubber O-ring. The old one did not. Well, it's hitting on that lip. It's not meant to clear it. So right now what I'm doing is working with a carbide bit and just grinding all that out of there and smoothing it out just in the spot um, where it's hitting. Now, if I would have ran the old one, there would have been plenty of room and there wouldn't have been a problem. But 
we're running the new one and not everything works together so we're just clearancing it a little bit um, gonna make it work gonna make it work right gonna make it feel right sound good all that good stuff um, so I'm just gonna work on that throw it back together and like I said for like the fourth time now I'm gonna wash it here's the final piece let's go throw it on real quick or the final finished product I hope You're my good luck charm, dude. That was like my 40th time trying. Oh, yeah? Was it supposed to sound like that? Like what? Like shit. Oh, no, that sounds great over here. It just, uh, so underneath this cover is the clutch, or like the whole clutch assembly. And I put, I put a lighter spring in it, and then I put this, it's like a weighted, um, they call it like a variable a variable speed pressure plate that you put on there it's weighted so as you're going when you pull a clutch in it pulls in easier and uh it sticks out super far so that new cover that i put on it had clearance issues and so i take a little out then put it back on start it it still have the noise and i've just been cutting out like a little bit at a time finally got it Did you your thumb? yeah real bad what'd you do dude i was cutting a piece out on the drill press like a metal plate it was a gasket but it's a metal gasket i was just hollowing it out a little bit the drill press grabbed it and cut into my knuckle so far dude like i should have probably got some stitches so i think that's pretty much it for this video thank you guys for watching make sure to like comment subscribe and uh i'll see you on a vlog for tomorrow's ride going to des moines hopefully that's supposed to happen i'm uh, gonna knock off Iowa off the checklist go I, I don't know is there any is there any slipknot history in Des Moines I'd like to see something like that so we'll check it out thanks for watching stay tuned good stuff coming your way